Now, part C, this is part D of the question. Describe a single transformation that maps uh, triangle ABC onto A triple prime, B triple prime, C triple prime. So we need to describe that kind of uh, transformation. So let us um, go directly to the diagram. So we are supposed to describe a single transformation that maps this uh, triangle. This is the original triangle to the last image of the triangle that we have formed. So the transformation that maps this uh, triangle ABC to this triangle that is here. Now what you need to think of, uh, you need to think of all the kinds of transformations that uh, are possible. Think of uh, translation, think of um, rotation, think of um, we've talked of reflection, translation, we can talk of um, shear, we can talk of stretch, all types of transformation that we have. Uh, so when I take for example a point, let me take a point A and um, A triple prime, I like to take uh, one point the point that I want to take is A. A is um, A is three four, and then I'd like to consider the image that is A triple prime, and A triple prime is um, negative four negative three. Those two, um, that single point A and its image can give me a clue of uh, the type of transformation that is here. So when you look at the coordinates, A is 3, 4, and uh, A triple prime is negative 4, negative 3. So definitely you can see that these points have been reversed or interchanged with the right term, and also the signs have changed. So 3, 4, negative. Four, negative three so the points have uh, the coordinates the x and y coordinates are reversed are reversed and they also change uh, the signs so if you keenly look at that and think of a uh, reflection uh, you notice that this is um, a reflection along y is equals to negative x if you draw if you actually draw a mirror line here that is the y is equals to negative x this is the line y is equals to negative x a line that passes through the middle of these axes or x and y axis along here so if you place for example i'm going to use the ruler here If you place uh, that ruler there and that ruler is acting as uh, the mirror line y is equals to negative x you'd notice uh, because you know the properties of reflection notice that this point B uh, this point B here and the mirror line here then the image is here you see that the reflection in reflection um, the object and the image are equidistant from the mirror line and the mirror line in this case is the y the line y is equals to negative x so look at b uh, b triple prime and the mirror line is there and then look at the again look at the object so look at a again and look at this a, a the image of a that is a triple prime look at c and look at c triple prime so you notice that the mirror line is uh, this line that is here that passes through the center here so therefore this is a reflection along the line y is equal to negative x then that maps triangle abc uh, to this a triple prime b triple prime c triple prime so you just look at it and uh, if you've studied the properties of reflection you'll be able to identify that so for that case uh, therefore we can say that uh, to describe that uh, transformation you just need to say that this is uh, a reflection we use um, 
open so this one is a, a reflection along the line y is equals to negative x so that is the reflection and that is the reflection that maps a point uh, a point a a general point a b along this uh, reflection is mapped onto a prime uh, negative b negative a that is uh, y is equals to negative x well, we also identified in part b what a reflection in the line y is equals to x can do so in this one y is equals to x if we have a point a which is a b we had done this so y is equals to x so a prime will be the points are simply reversed but for y is equals to negative x the points are reversed or interchanged and those change the signs so that is uh, the solution for part d